So, why pick locks? Why go through all the trouble of learning and practicing a skill that's pretty much illegal for me to use day to day? And what are the other parts of it? Shimming and hooking doors? Why learn to break into a building when you follow the law and would never break in? Every lock you come across, electronic or mechanical, is like a puzzle. Almost every locking mechanism is different in some way. Each lock and door is a new puzzle for you to solve. Think about who made the lock. What type is it? What model? What bypass methods work on it? There's a million ways to get past a locked door. The only question you need to ask yourself is how do I get to the other side of the door without breaking anything? Uh, I cannot express the joy that I feel when I hear all my pens line up in a lock. That gentle bump you feel when you manage to finally get that last pen up in place. It's thrilling. When I see a lock or a locked door, I don't see a security method. I see a beautiful piece of human engineering. A series of small metal cylinders fit into perfectly cut round holes for them to fit in. The tension of springs being the only power for the mechanism as well as being a weak point for the lock. Every new padlock I see in my day-to-day -day life is like a challenge. Can I get past this lock? If I can't, can I learn how? And if I failed, why did I fail? How can I adapt to get past the lock the next time? Every click and tug from this lock is euphoric. Even without being able to see the inside of a lock, a skilled locksmith can tell you exactly where those pins have fallen. It's beautiful. And more than anything, I just wish it was okay to share my passion for these little puzzles. Or bypass WPA2 networks. But I really want to show people that this is a doable thing. You can teach yourself how to pick locks or, you know, crack networks, Bluetooth, all that stuff. And you don't need to go to college. You don't need to go to an expensive school. I mean, your CompTIA certification would be wonderful. Absolutely, go get that if you're able to. But you can learn anything you want to on the internet. And, and that does include these things that to a lot of people do seem really sketchy. You know, why is my 13-year-old son learning to pick locks? Is he going to break into something? Do I need to be concerned? I think the answer to that is definitely be wary, you know? Because you never know, maybe your kid does want to break into a building, or maybe he is just enthusiastic about this process. Maybe they want to learn how locks work, and this is just part of learning how the, me how the mechanism works. Uh, so why do I pick locks? Because if I didn't, I don't know who I'd be. It's my passion, it gives my life purpose, and most importantly, it's really fun. So go buy yourself a set of really cheap picks on Amazon. Go get yourself a cheap SDR and a decent laptop. I'll see you on that other side of the fire firewall where you belong. And I don't know. I really, I love what I do. And I think that other people should too. You shouldn't feel afraid to talk about picking locks in public or quote-unquote hacking you know these are just new skills for you to learn and the people around you that may not enjoy those skills they can learn those skills too and make themselves their family and the world a safer place to live in just by practicing breaking in and explaining to other people how it works how they can protect themselves what hardware is not good um but uh, i love picking locks i love entry tools uh thank you for listening real short little video. My name is Ford and I really hope you have a good day. Thank you very much.